Hey guys, welcome back to podcast nine and three quarters. I'm your host, the Half-Blood Princess. In this video, I'm going to talk about what happened to Oliver Wood in Harry Potter. But before I get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Oliver Wood had a significant role in the first movie of Harry Potter, but his character kind of disappears after that. Oliver is best known as Gryffindor Keeper and eventual team captain. He helped Harry learn how to play Quidditch and become a seeker in the Sorcerer's Stone. We see him again for a moment in the Chamber of Secrets movie, but then nothing else until the Battle of Hogwarts. The books give us more insight on what became of Oliver Wood. Prisoner of Azkaban was Oliver's final year at Hogwarts, and he made it his mission to have Gryffindor win the Quidditch Cup. His desperation to end his time at Hogwarts with a Quidditch victory is obvious in the books. Fortunately for both Wood and the Gryffindor team, they secured the win after defeating Slytherin 230 to 20. After leaving Hogwarts, Oliver began playing as the keeper on Puddlemere United's reserve team. He ran into Harry that summer at the World Cup in Goblet of Fire, where he dragged Harry over to his parents' tent to introduce him and told him that he had just been signed to the team. Oliver did make a cameo in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 during the Battle of Hogwarts. He leads a group of students on broomsticks in an attack against Voldemort's forces. While it was a heroic return for his character, it was also a blink-and-you-miss-it kind of moment. In the book, his return has slightly more impact because he, along with fellow Quidditch players from the past, fight against the Death Eaters, and in a brief recess during the battle, Wood assists Neville Longbottom in carrying the deceased to the Great Hall. This act shows another side of him, a more sensitive one that's not just Quidditch this and Quidditch that. As Oliver Wood's name is not mentioned among the Fallen Fifty, a list of wizards and witches killed during the final conflict of the Second Wizarding War, it's believed that he survived the Battle of Hogwarts. His whereabouts after the war are unknown, but it would be safe to speculate that he returned to his career of playing professional Quidditch. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section, and be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, love you. Bye.